Uh, the transgender community of South Dakota is waiting as House Bill 1080 is sent to Governor Kristi Noem's desk for her signature. Republican lawmakers have said she supports the bill. The bill would prohibit gender-affirming health care for transgender minors. Last night, Kelloland's Lauren Solick was at an event hosted by transgender advocates to get their reaction to the bill's passage. The first annual Transformation Project Gala was meant to be a night of celebrating trans resilience, but the evening had a somber mood hanging over it, just hours before South Dakota senators voted to pass House Bill 1080. To the transgender community, you are loved, you are valued, and I am so sorry that this is where our state is. If Governor Kristi Noem signs House Bill 1080 into law, gender-affirming hormones, surgery, and puberty blockers will be restricted in the state for minors. It's, it's something that has affected my future deeply, considering I've been working on trying to get my own gender-affirming gender care within like less than a year. Um, and I was hoping to like maybe start any kind of uh, treatment for myself. And now uh, our legislators uh, who are supposed to support us um, has taken away that opportunity for me. 16-year-old Elliot Moorhead testified against this bill in Pierre. They say they had finally just received their letter that would allow them to make an appointment with a doctor to discuss health care options. People think you can just like walk in and then get like testosterone or estrogen or puberty block. It doesn't work like that. Advocates are standing beside Moorhead and other transgender youth as they process what has happened in Pierre. We're just um, going to take it day by day and see what we can do to make sure that those families are feeling supported and um, have a place to turn to. There are countless people right here and right now who love them, support them, and know that their existence in this world is a beautiful gift. Yeah! And Moorhead won't be backing down. Not everyone supports or likes who I am, and I, I'm fine with that. Um, and I'm just going to be me yet. anyway. No matter what the legislators think, uh, whether they think they know who I am and that I can just grow out of something, um, I'm going to fight and I'm going to be myself authentically. That's, that's it. In Sioux Falls, Lauren Solick, Kelloland News. We have been following House Bill 1080 since it was introduced in the House. To read about all of the discussion on this bill from both sides, visit Kelloland.com. Across the border of Minnesota, state lawmakers there have introduced a bill that would protect transgender people, their families, and doctors from legal repercussions for traveling to the state to receive gender-affirming care. You can find a link to the bill under this report on our website as well.